Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this CarTech video. In this CarTech video, we're going to show you the launch CRP129 or VIII as it's also known. And we're going to diagnose and reset this check engine light on this Porsche Cayenne that we're in right now. Uh, don't worry about the other lights that we have showing on the dashboard. We're not interested in those in this video. We're just focusing on the check engine light. So um, we have this tool plugged into the diagnostic port. And first of all, you can pick up this tool. You can buy this tool. I'm going to put this, the link to the kit in the description below this video and also in the comments box below this video uh, so it's a quick link to where you can actually buy this tool so first of all we'll click on to diagnose and we're going to click on to scan and then we're going to go to Porsche and then we'll select our specific vehicle which is a Cayenne manually select the system we want to diagnose the DME which is the engine system and click on OK to that so we'll click read DTCs, that's diagnostic trouble codes. And it's giving us a P010400, a P002751, mass or volume airflow circuit intermittent. And that's pretty much exactly the same there. Now, we'd previously diagnosed this fault before making this video. We knew we had a check engine light. Um, and we the, the RPM needle, you see the red RPM needle there, that was very lumpy and it was very it was fluctuating quite a lot and the car wasn't just it was just running not very good so we put a new we that information together with the information we got from the tool we put a new MAF and uh, mass airflow sensor in or MAF as it's also known and since we put the new MAF in the RPM needle has been fluctuating uh, not at all it's been very stable in fact but we still have the check engine light and we still have the fault codes on screen here. So to get rid of both of those now, all we really need to do is click on to clear DTCs. And when I do this, when I click yes to this one here, just keep one eye on the check engine light. Hmm, telling me succeeded to clear, but it hasn't actually cleared the fault code. In fact, give me one second because I'm wondering if I've actually we plugged it back in. Um, one second. Right, that's it. It was, it was half plugged in, but it wasn't fully plugged in all the way. So now, the fact that it's plugged in, we should be able to go back in and just read. Uh, so we'll just go straight to clear DTCs. Now keep one eye on the check engine light. Succeeded to clear. Hmm. Still hasn't done it. Let's go in another way. Because it is all connected up together correctly, and it is actually, you know, the car's running fine. Erase codes. There, that's done it there. It's cleared it now. I think it, I don't know what, I don't know what that's, why that was doing that there, but there we go. Um, we got there eventually. And um, yeah, it's all thanks to the CRP129, or the VIII as it's also known. And as I say, I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below this video, and also a link to this kit in the comments box below the video as well. It's a good little tool, it's very worthwhile having in your glove box. So thanks for watching this CarTech video, and I'll see you next time.